From the creation of new stars to incredible supernovas, stay tuned to number one to see the most amazing photos ever taken from space. Number 10. The Pillars of Creation Although this looks like some artist's abstract painting of nothing in particular, the Pillars of Creation is actually a genuine photo of massive fingers of cosmic dust and gas. The only two close-up photos in existence, and I use that term loosely, were both taken by the ever-reliable Hubble telescope. And its name is not just there to sound impressive, but is actually incredibly fitting. What we see in this photo is tons and tons of cosmic dust that is in the process of forming new stars. Each of the pillars of dust span between four and five light years long, which is truly a remarkable distance. Yet, it's still only a small part of the Eagle Nebula, which is a mind-melting 70 by 55 light years in size. Interestingly enough, if you know where to look, you can actually see the Eagle Nebula through a relatively small telescope. And if you have a large telescope and decent viewing conditions, you can even see the pillars of creation yourself in the comfort of your own planet. Number 9. Hubble Ultra Deep Field 2004 If you ever want to realize just how small and insignificant we all are, look no further than the Hubble Ultra Deep Field photo. Because in this photo, we do not only see one galaxy, which already reminds us of how small we are, but rather a few thousand different galaxies. And by that, we mean that in this one photo, there are more than 10,000 galaxies visible. Now, just in case you are no astronomy fan, you need to remember that we live on Earth, which is just one planet in our solar system, which is just one of millions of solar systems that make up our galaxy, which is just one of billions of galaxies that make up the universe. This is mind-melting territory to even think of, but just as a point of comparison, Trying to find Earth would be like trying to find one specific grain of sand out of all of the sand at your local beach. It's going to take you a while. Number 8. Untethered Spacewalk 1984 Cinema has a long history of releasing criminals into the void of space as a form of death penalty. Meanwhile, back in 1984, astronaut Bruce McCandles became the first ever person to do an untethered spacewalk at his own free will by using another invention that we often see in the movies and video games called a jetpack. After being released into space with no cord attached to him, Bruce McCandles used a nitrogen-propelled jetpack strapped to his back that allowed him to maneuver himself while floating in space. He reportedly flew 320 feet away from the space shuttle before making his return and becoming the first person to ever use a jetpack while floating in outer space. It was an incredible achievement for both himself as well as for NASA. And if I had to choose who should be more famous between him and Neil Armstrong walking on the moon, I may have a different opinion of who I would choose. Number 7. Selfie with a Comet in March 2004, the European Space Agency, or ESA, launched a craft into space with a very specific mission – to find, document, and land on a comet. Specifically, the icy comet 67P, which was discovered in deep space. During the Rosetta's journey, it passed by two other asteroids, and in August of 2014, it finally reached its objective. There was a little landing craft called the Phyli Lander on board the Rosetta, and its job was to discharge itself from Rosetta and land on the comet. This lander had a camera attached to it, and when it was just 10 miles away from the comet, it snapped a photo, capturing one of the Rosetta's 46-foot-long solar panels in the frame with the comet and clearly visible in the background while doing so. By doing this, we got the incredible photo that is now known as the selfie with a comet. In November 2014, the Phyli lander was deployed and managed to land successfully on 67P, where it collected data before being powered down, having completed its successful mission. Number 6. The Eye of God This picture is of the Helix Nebula and first became famous in 2003 for resembling a human eye. Couple that with this nebula's sheer size and you end up with what is now commonly known as the Eye of God. Truth be told though, this famous picture is not one photo of the planetary nebula, but rather a combination of multiple photos taken from both the Hubble telescope as well as the telescope at the Kitt Peak National Observatory. The color was also adjusted when the photos were being knit together, but despite this, the picture that you see today of the Helix Nebula is essentially what it looks like. As far as what the Eye of God actually is though, it's concerning. 
It is actually a dying star, quite similar to our own sun, that has evolved into a red giant and is shedding its outer layers. Eventually, when the star cools down enough, it will become a white dwarf, which is essentially just a star roughly the size of a planet. Number 5. Venus in front of the Sun Actually referred to as a transit, you need to be quite lucky to encounter this for two reasons. First is because the pattern in which it occurs, where it will pass the sun once, then again 8 years later, but after that one, it will take another 105 years to cross again. After that is another 8 year cycle, but then 121 years before you will witness it again. Meaning that if you miss the transiting of Venus in 2004 and again in 2012, then unfortunately you might need to give up hope ever seeing it. The second reason is because of the size of Venus. You should already realize at this point that space is big, like really big, and that our sun is also mind confusingly big despite it being considered a small star. Venus is roughly the same size as Earth, and since you now have seen a picture of Venus in front of the sun, you need to try to wrap your head around the fact that Venus is barely more than a speck of dust in front of the sun and doesn't affect the light in any way. Utterly amazing. Number 4. The Crab Nebula The Crab Nebula, or alternatively Messier 1, is the remnants of a star that went supernova not too many years ago. And by that we mean it was first noted way back in 1054 CE by Chinese astronomers that noticed it appear one night while staring into the night sky. Even more amazing is that according to records from the time, the light from the supernova could even be seen during the day for 23 days. And if you knew what to look for, it could be seen at night for an additional 653 days. It was given the name of the Crab Nebula when the astronomers who had discovered it sketched it as sort of a crab-shaped object. Unfortunately, modern, boring scientists then gave it the name Messier 1. But the original name has stuck around at least. At the center of the nebula is a pulsar, which is a neutron star that is only 6 miles wide and yet as dense as our sun. This pulsar rotates around at a mind-numbing speed of 30 times per second. The body of the nebula are the usual gases and such that are left behind after a star goes supernova. But what it has formed is certainly a spectacular image to behold. Number 3. Mystic Mountain This incredible mountain of gas was first discovered in February 2010 and, despite it looking like it comes straight out of Star Wars or even Lord of the Rings, this photo has not been doctored or adjusted in any way. Located 7,500 light years away from wherever you're standing right now and deep within the Carina Nebula, this massive cloud of dust actually shows quite a bit of stuff going on. Inside that very picture, there are stars forming in the dust and radiation. And the two jets of dust shooting out in different directions at the tops of two of the spires is the initial signs of a brand new star being born. Possibly just as interesting, the blue haze that can be seen around the edges is oxygen, while the greener colors are hydrogen and nitrogen. And finally, the reddish mist is sulfur. Put these together and you will get a picture that is not only amazing to look at, but also shows quite a bit of stuff going on. Number 2. Hubble's Andromeda Galaxy You may think that your 4K wallpaper on your Ultra HD computer monitor is impressive, and maybe it is. But it is extremely unlikely that you have a photo anywhere on your computer that quite compares to this. The Hubble's panoramic shot of our nearest neighboring galaxy, Andromeda, is quite literally the largest photo ever taken. That one picture will take up 4.3 gigabytes of disk space on your hard drive and it comprises 1.5 billion pixels. If you zoom in on the picture, you will find over 100 million stars in just a portion of the galaxy that stretches over 40,000 light years. The Andromeda galaxy is considered close to us in space terms, sitting at only 2.5 million light years away from Earth, allowing the telescope to zoom in on very specific areas of the galaxy. This wasn't originally one extremely high resolution photo though, and the telescope initially took 411 individual photos that were then painstakingly stitched together to create the incredible photo that you see now. Number 1. The Hubble Telescope no list containing some of the most incredible photos from space is complete without mentioning and showing the telescope that is responsible for taking said photos. Enter the Hubble Telescope. Not just any telescope, but one that has literally taken photos of things thousands of light years away from us, as if they were right there above us in the night sky. 
although I guess technically they are. Floating just 353 miles above Earth, Hubble remains above the atmosphere and in the perfect spot to see the vastness of space. First launched on April 24, 1990 with the Space Shuttle Discovery, Hubble was a joint partnership between NASA and the ESA. Since its launch, astronauts have visited on a few occasions to upgrade its capabilities and allow it to see even further out into space. Despite all the incredible photos Hubble has taken though, we are still waiting patiently for that one picture containing the Enterprise flying in the back of the shop. As long as it's not being followed by a Borg ship. What is your favorite part about space? Let us know in the comments below and take care!